So today's one of my good days. I woke up this morning and I felt not refreshed, but I felt pretty good. Uh, able to do things that I wanted to do. I need to make some bread and I'm going to be making some bagels, some cookies probably, and I need to, to finish some peanut butter balls that I made about over like two months ago. But I never really wake up feeling refreshed and that's really hard in my situation right now, especially dealing with the obsessive compulsive disorder and the voice in my head telling me how I'm feeling, how, you know, how well I'm doing. Uh, it really takes a hold of that part of me, so it makes it really hard. So when I'm having good days, I try to take advantage of them and, and do the things that I want and love to do. So when I talk about sleeping, my doctor and I worked on, we tried three different types of medication. This was before all this coronavirus that started happening so I was able to see him I saw him every month starting in December but he put me on leave so the first medication he put me on was Risperidone now what I'm telling you is what happened to me it doesn't mean it'll happen to you uh, these were all medications that I tried but the side effects were so intense that I actually had to stop them um, after one or two months so the, Respor the Risperidone was actually really, really good for controlling the OCD, like amazing, great. The problem that I had was that I had major headaches, like pulsating headaches to the point where it felt like somebody was, was hammering um, a nail into my head, like right here constantly. Um, I but I slept so well and I always felt refreshed, but I was having more bad days because the headaches. And also I gained weight. Like I didn't eat that much and I was constantly gaining weight. And this is something else that's very bothersome for me. So it impedes on some of my other disorders, which made it really, really hard. So eventually I had to stop that medication like my doctor completely took me off of it the second medication he tried me on was trazodone this one intensely makes you want to eat sugar all the time like it you crave sugar constantly and uh, I had headaches with this one and it wasn't really like the first couple of days I slept really well but then what started happening was that I was actually staying up at night instead of falling asleep. So I was thinking intensely, like I wasn't controlling the OCD like the Risperidone was doing. And this was something that was really difficult because then I wasn't even getting up in the morning anymore. It was too difficult for me to get up because I was up all night. My brain was like on fire, constantly thinking, not being able to shut it off. So within a month, I was off that one, and uh, it was just crazy. Like I couldn't even handle that medication at all uh, to help me sleep. And the third one was Seroquel. So the Seroquel, also another one that makes you eat a lot, makes you want to like, uh, you crave sugar all the time. Uh, I gained, I don't know how much weight, like I don't weigh myself, and that's part of something that really gets to me is the weight gain and the craving sugar, the craving food, the craving the need to eat all the time. That's really hard. So you're already trying to battle one thing and it's not really helping. Um, this one also, major headaches, lots of night sweats. And then eventually it was just keeping me up at night. It wasn't really helping. I wasn't really sleeping. I couldn't get up in the morning. So uh, my last appointment with the doctor, which was actually via phone, because at this point we couldn't go in and see him, he just told me to stop the medication and said, you know, to move on to, to try like the next appointment that we have face to face, we'll talk about other medications. So at the moment I'm not really taking anything for sleeping. I do walk every day, I take my dogs out for a walk as long as it's not too cold or it's not uh, raining and I try to 
do as much physically, but on my bad days when I feel like it's hard enough to just get out of bed, those days are much, much harder to get up and do stuff and get physical activity so that I'm tired at the end of the day. So I'll leave you with that. And so today, and I'll let you know tomorrow how everything went today.